Number 18. Suppose a 350-gram kookaburra, a large kingfisher bird, picks up a 75-gram snake and raises it 2.5 meters from the ground to a branch. How much work did the bird do on the snake? All right. So we're talking about changes in height, right? So we're thinking about the gravitational potential energy formula. So this says that the gravitational potential energy of an object will be equal to the mass of that object multiplied by g, then multiplied by the change in height, or the height difference um, that that object has achieved. All right. So since we're talking about the snake, we have to be thinking about um, all these variables in relation to the snake. And therefore, the potential energy right, change due to gravity of the snake should equal the mass of the snake multiplied by g, multiplied by then the height change of that snake. So simply here, we're going to have the mass of the snake was, they told us 75 grams, but remember, it's got to be in kilograms. So simply just move that decimal point three places to the left. Right, or just simply divide it by 1,000. So 0 0.075, that'll be it in terms of kilograms. G is 9.80. And the height here, it rose 2.5 meters, right? The bird lifted at 2.5 meters. So now the potential energy of the snake has changed by 2 point, uh, excuse me, by 0 0.075 times 9.8 times 2.5. We get a value of 1.84, and that's it, actually not times 10 to anything, 1.84 joules, all right? So this is the potential energy change of the snake. How did the snake's potential energy change? Well, that potential energy came from the work the bird did, all right? So they're the same, all right? So the, the bird had to put in this amount of work. Remember, work is just essentially another term for energy, right, more or less. There's some subtle differences, but you can just think about that in general terms like that. So um, so this would be the answer, all right, for part A. So let's take a look at part B. How much work did it do, meaning the bird, the kookaburra? I think I'm just going to say that from now on just randomly at times. How much work did it do to raise its own center of mass to the branch? So letter B. So now we're looking at the potential energy, right, of the kookaburra. So now it's going to be equal to the mass of the kookaburra times G times the change in height of the kookaburra. So potential energy, right, of the, the change, I should say, of the kookaburra uh, should be equal to uh, the mass of the kookaburra. So its mass was in grams, right, but we're going to do the same thing, convert it to kilograms, so 0 0.350, just divided by 1,000, multiplied by gravity, 9.80, kookaburra, and multiplied by the change in height, and the change in height, the same amount as the snake did, right? So the energy necessary, right, to change its potential energy, kookaburra, uh, was 0.35 times 9.8 times 2.5, kookaburra, so we get 8.58. 8.58 joules, okay? So that's how much energy it must have put in to change its um, potential energy, all right? Uh, then if you, right, if a part C might have been, what's the total amount of work the bird had to do to lift itself and the snake, right? If that were the question, then you would just take these two values, add them together. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe and um, tell your friends if you like, kookaburra. I won't mind at all. Thank you so much. Take care. Kookaburra.